this is what I call a poker face. Now let me concentrate. Right, now, let's try again, shall we, you hexadecimal halfwit? Right on, Maddy. Let's go, let's go! Spewing time back into the universe. Precisely. So what is it? I've lost my polymorph. It's on the loose. It's on the loose. Come into the geeks' room. Never is it in a swimmer's vocabulary. Neither is can't, won't, or impotence. First. First. Second. First. <laughs> Hello. What the hell? Uh... First, let me thank everyone who sent in a film because we've been inundated with literally several entries and I have to say, the standard has staggered us. In fact, days later, people are still staggering. There have emerged two entries of true, genuine distinction and as a consequence, we've invented two categories so both can win awards. The first category is the best dramatic reconstruction of our attempts to get funding for the Red Dwarf movie. And the second category is Best Red Dwarf Film featuring a genetic mutant played by a male human body part. <laughs> so without further ado, here's the first award. And the winner is... Best Documentary, the movie Yeah No, Yeah No by Ian Symes. This is Grant Naylor Productions, home of the popular science fiction comedy Red Dwarf. The man in charge is Doug Naylor, ably assisted by General Manager Helen Norman and General Right Hand Man Andrew Ellard. <gasps> Damn Space Hog! And of course, Mr. Flibble. Well, I joined the company a few years ago now. Uh, it was only a couple of weeks before I was issued with this company beard. I know I get a lot of criticism for it, but having a uniform beard just helps with the general atmosphere of togetherness, you know. Helen's still furious about it, of course. Well, it's ridiculous. I mean, how is anyone in the industry meant to take us seriously when we're all strutting around with matching bloody beards? Of course, what she's really upset about is having to cut her original beard down to the regulation length. She didn't like that at all. I've written this movie version of Red Dwarf, and I'm trying to get it funded. Most of the executives wanted to see big names in the movie. Well, we just love the script. Yeah, it's amazing! Really fantastic. Totally! I haven't read it yet, but I love it! Any ideas for casting? Yeah, no, I, I want to keep the original British cast. No, 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 we need some heavy names in there. Uh, how about Hugh Grant, Blister? What other lineys can we get? Anthony Head for Reimer? Patrick Stewart for Harley. John Burt! Tim Roth. Ewan McGregor! Alan Rickman! Jane Leaves. Actually, forget about the lineys. How about Arnie for Lister? I like it, I like it! Dinero for Rimmer! J-Lo for Kochansky! Snoop Dogg for Cat! Might have a bit of a problem with the name there. Actually, I do have a few issues with the title. 
What about the title? Well, uh, we just feel it's not a... Uh, it's not politically correct! Yeah. We really don't want to upset the dwarves. They're a big business here in Hollywood. Christ knows how Disney got away with it. I got it! Red, vertically challenged person! Yeah! You're serious, aren't you? No, I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, I don't think it's... I don't think the kids will really go for it. Yeah, kids of the future. Yeah, we need something edgy, something with zing. I got it! Dead guys in space! Dude, where's my spaceship? Like Star Trek, only funny. Speaking hell, it's a spaceship! Spaceballs! You know, I think we're making real progress here. I'll order some coffee. Uh, anyone want any toast? Hello, Grant Lenny Productions. Just when all seemed lost, the office received a call from an Australian investor. Yes, uh, one moment please. Look, it's for you. It's an investor. Doug Naylor. How much? Sixty million dollars. I mean, uh, do you want it all or would something less be okay? Well, um, yeah, no, we could probably make a great film for around twenty million, but, um, you know, may maybe sixty million could be the way to go. Yeah, no, sixty million is definitely the way to go. No problem. I'm a big dwarf fan anyway, so I'm happy to help out. Uh, when do you want to meet? Uh, how about tomorrow? Oh, great. One thing though, uh, could you pay my airfare? Um, yeah, okay. Great, great. Also, uh, could I stay at your place? Um, wouldn't a hotel be a bit more? No, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of money, I'm afraid. Um, right. By the way, did I mention I'm the Duke of Manchester? Very funny, guys. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a smegging bunch of rooney. Hey, if, if Napoleon Bonaparte calls, put him through to my mobile, eh? Hold on, Doug. I've just looked on the internet and there is a Duke of Manchester. His family moved to Melbourne at the turn of the 20th century. Quick! 1471! Your Dukeness. Sorry about that. There must have been a problem with the phones. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it is a bad lie. Um, uh, we were just wondering about this uh, money of yours. Do, do you have any uh, proof of it? I, I'm sorry to ask, it's just uh, British law and all that. Yeah, yeah. A, a bank statement, a bank statement, yeah, yeah. Um, um, just fax it through to us. Yeah, you got the number. Great. Cheers. Ah, smug mode. The fax is coming through. It says he's got a hundred million dollars. Yes! Boys from the Dwarf! Oh, hang on, some of the figures don't add up. It's, the balance starts off at $18.67 and then there's a transaction to the Big Boys in Boots subscription department of $15 and the final figure is a $100 million. Oh. And the final figure is written on Biro. Ah. Uh. Funding doesn't exist here anymore. Actually, to be more precise, Andrew, the funding doesn't ever have existed here anymore. Although, it is hardly the time to go conjugating verbs in the past participle never tense. What are we going to do? Well, I say let's get out there and twat it. Doug, you're ill. Just relax and leave this to us. Oh, shut up, Andrew. Duke, you're a cancerous polyp on the anus of society. Hundred million dollars? Do you think I was born yesterday? Doug, Doug, I can assure you, I've got the money. There was uh, there was just a problem with the statement and I had to change it a bit. Um, tell you what, I've got Carly Minogue here in my house. Uh, I could go and get her, she could vouch for me. He's apparently going to get Carly on the phone. Ooh, do you think she's talking about a copy of I should be so lucky? Hello, Doug. I'm Carly Minogue and I'm at the Duke's house and I have to say he's a really great guy. And he's, uh, he's definitely got the money, he's just vesting in a different account. And I'm definitely Kylie. I'm wiggling my ass as I say this. Yeah, no, Andrew. I don't think she will. Doug Naylor. Ah, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, of course. A strange incident, but GNP had to deal with a number of weird and wonderful individuals. Garnese Ping. Watwa mora histan kanoa nakupaku. Kintete ach, hachumbabo. 
He said he liked it, but he had some issues with the chaos thing. How all about Steve Cook and care at her rimmer? Um, actually, y you know what? I I've got other people to see. We've really been around the houses just to get here, but we've not lost faith. I mean, you know, I can't see us still being here in 50 years, still trying to get funding. Hello, is that Naylor Productions? Really? That's wonderful news. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, uh, Ellen, is she okay? She's dead, Andrew. Change what's happening. Best Red Dwarf film featuring human male body part is Red Dwarf Attack of the, I'll leave the last bit out, I'll give the joke away, by James Hickey. Oh, 
Officer, officer, officer. Wow! 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 What's happening, dudes? Curry, 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 Curry? Yeah, dudes. <laughs> Ooh, officer, officer, officer. Well done, Holly. Wow, 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 Well, dudes, easy, dudes. Um, mm, yeah, um, dudes. Ah, oh, officer, 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 officer. Hey, wow, wow, wow. Golden Benny, dude. Hey, hmm. Wow.